my bala stands on three pillars. Good food. Good food. What's it? My mummy says hello. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Brasodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you? of the penalty for insulting a superior. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha, I thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back in the barracks. Sucked it. Now, Matt, round you go. One, two, one, two. Appreciate the help. Twas night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah-ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor school. Van der Neu and Long indeed. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've nae seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Okay, egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz incense sold to Madame V. Geralt, you Dressed thought of buying real estate. Could get to your attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri, Matt? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, 
This is a banquet. I? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quite. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Smell it, Geralt. That's the center coin. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Beriminaica. Vedemi. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh so distant youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedim Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique, School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Bimmy. I've not seen you before among the well healed. Hmm, some spilled wine, nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. 
Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old, and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Frankly, don't find Gwent the least bit interesting. Oh, shame that. Good to see you again, Hilbert. <laughs> Time we were going. Listen, if you decide to buy into that fun we discussed, you know where to find me. You call that interesting? The bloke's not scintillating in conversation, I'll grant you, but he's a right fiend at the card table. No matter. Maybe next time. Your grey mane really does suit you. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Thought calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? No. I'm more interested in the culinary arts, too. Why stand near me, then? You ought to be hovering about the buffer. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical arse cunt. I've grown accustomed. Huh. Esteemed lady, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Listen, forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Host Masodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of 
course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah! Knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? Going once, twice, going thrice. The Honorable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Knight over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at... 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes. At 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles, a frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible! With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crap. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Geralt, look! Horst Masudi! Come on, afore some other cocksucker's stealing. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm, that's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. 
kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, I. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Wolf Pop's got teeth! Your swords, master. Just need you to sign here. F fuck you. Mm. Depositor refused to confirm receipt. Signed, Sergeant Figner. A pleasant day to you. Seems true what they say. When it's many against one, even a witch is dumb. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way horse to let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know what. This is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you, I hope. Make a fine sailor, till the puke is set in. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Woo! Ah! Everyone to me!
its ribs. It was being hunted. Something went horribly wrong, though. That's it, Roach. Slower. spot lots to do hmm. that was rather efficient that all you got to say I saved your life Pfft. we'd have disposed of that rabble easily we my I'll be precise you know what I mean now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelligan. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want, I can count on. Before we go any further, do you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in, each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity mates the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. 
Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the bolt door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> I don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? That's the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the Irving. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I really doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -way. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So... Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My way turned us down. Any options? Quinto. The North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. Ah, right. The famed Hans. Went out with his pals to hunt monsters. Turned out they were shit at it. I know the man. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. 
Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. <laughs> 